All right, this will be a demonstration of the SDC self-canceling turn signal module. Right now the key is on. I'm going to hit the left turn signal just for a second, and you'll see if you can see the flash uh, occurring. It should flash for seven seconds and stop. I'll hit the right turn signal. And it stops. If I hit the left turn signal for four se or two seconds, it should flash for 20. So I'm going to let it go for a little bit, and then I'll probably just cancel it. So obviously you can see that's more than the seven seconds. If I hit the button again, it'll disable it. If I hit both buttons simultaneously, I get four-way flashers. And hit them both again, and it's disabled. And that is, my friends, all there is to it. Very simple installation. Didn't have to uh, do anything to the wiring in the car other than jumper the uh, turn signal flasher. I'd remove it and create a jumper, put it in place. But all the other wiring connected directly to uh, what had previously been attached to the turn signal toggle switch. And uh, switches look pretty good. They're just simple momentary switches uh, with arrows um, engraved or etched onto them. Uh, to give it a pretty clean look. I originally made a plate to mount them on. Uh, the thickness of that plate combined with the padding on the dash uh, didn't allow the uh, threads to engage on the reverse side of the switches. So this is what we ended up with. Pretty pleased with the result. Uh, check out my build thread on Factory 5 Forms, Papa's Mark IV build. Thanks. Bye.